So today I was looking at my mailbox, like completely randomly I was looking at my mailbox. Uh, maybe you have some really awesome epic sick or something like chat games for me. Uh, because at first I was going to upload yet another face of episode for you, face of episode number 9. Uh, which is going to be really awesome as well and really surprising. But after I saw this replay, I knew right away this is going to be my episode today. The exact title of the email was, is it possible to do more alone? So the title of the email got my interest and after I saw the result screen, I have to ask, is it possible to do more alone in one team? And after seeing the battle, after I saw the replay file, I think this might be the greatest game that I have ever seen in World of Tanks. Definitely this is going to be in my top 3 of uh, crazy games in World of Tanks. You're going to be amazed to see what players are capable of doing in World of Tanks. Well, actually, maybe not amazed, just... Just ridiculous moments, really. Just ridiculous moments. So many ridiculous moments in one replay. Uh, this game is played by Chosen Kiss uh, from the gland called Soma. So, thank you for this epic, epic action. And he's playing with T30. For the start, check the scoreboard. Losing 0-1, 0-2, 0-3... 0 to 4 and 0 to 5. Awesome! We just lost 4 tanks in 5 seconds. Or maybe in 4 seconds. I don't know, I didn't count. Anyways, it was fast. Now, the second ridiculous moment of this replay comes up right now. You can see that E75. Check out what this guy is doing. In the matchmaking like this. This is pretty much god-like matchmaking for E75 and this guy goes full YOLO mode. And he's even platooned up with this uh, Stock Tiger 2 in front of us. Hopefully, this Tiger 2 is not going to learn from him. But this E75 has to think like, oh dude, I'm in E75 in this kind of match, make him nothing penetrates me, yada yada, and boom, dead. Oh god, I hope this Tiger 2 is not going to learn from him. Hopefully this Tiger 2 is going to learn from this replay watching this episode. Yeah, Kappa. Anyways, goodbye. Sorry, but goodbye. AMX VT100 trying to run away, damaging himself doing that. And we lost yet another tank. Losing this battle, 3 to 9. 4 to 9, actually, awesome. J Banter 2 was able to kill Type 59. And the only tank left over here is T34100, who is trying to run away. But guys, can you guess what this guy is trying to do? Of course, he's trying to drown himself. Why the fuck not? Goodbye, bitch. When your team is winning 10 to 4, why the fuck are you trying to drown yourself? Let me know, guys, because I do not understand. Maybe it is just me who doesn't understand things, but yeah. And AMX VT100, epic tunnel vision action, so goodbye to you as well, good sir. And it is officially 3 versus 9. So they have exactly three times more tanks than we have. But who cares, because we have Oni over here, as you can see. And this Oni is actually going to be one of the stars of this replay. Not in a good way, sadly. <laughs> Not in a good way at all. Just uh, wait a little bit. Just wait a bit. Anyways, when they have three times more tanks than we have, what should we do? We should go back and we should defend the base. Someone is capturing the base, most likely it is going to be Tiger 1, because Tiger 1's last known position is at T1. Skoda D50 and SU seems like they moved away from the gapping circle, and yes, SU is over here and SU is dead. SU is really good flanker and really fast tank destroyer, so that is why I didn't think this guy is going to cap. And what an epic dodge by Chosen Kuss, really, he literally knew when artillery is going to shoot at him, and really, masterclass dodge. Well done. Well done. So, are we going to see Tiger 1? And yes, hello Tiger 1. 771 into the face. Uh, I can see 3 falling. Is this Skoda D50? Yes, this is Skoda D50. First shot was the penetration. Second shot bounce. Good job, good job. Come on, reload, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 729. Goodbye, have a safe trip home, take that shell with you. 
So, 102 hit points left on that Skoda. And uh, we have Black Bulldog over here as well. And guys, check this Oni out. This Oni, at the moment, is being super useful. I believe he's scanning around at the moment, actually, looking for enemy tanks to shoot at. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, anyways, Choosing Kuss was able to kill Skoda Day 50. Really, really dangerous tank. He's dead, and uh, he was able to bounce Porsche as well, which is even better because Porsche, as we can see, is using 150 mil gun. He's going to be reloaded faster, and yes, yet another bounce. We were lucky over here that he didn't know how to shoot, so yet another bounce, and a lot of damage done with one shot and ramming. Three hit points left, come on. As touch, as kill. Boom, style points, style points indeed. Uh, Tiger 1 doesn't like to move as well, seems like it, so let's simply kill this guy. And goodbye. Was a nice knowing you. <laughs> Crazy. So, what do we have over here is uh, 1 versus 5 action, uh, 2 tanks and 3 artilleries. And we have Black Bulldog over here, full HP Black Bulldog who is bouncing, which is awesome. And Lorraine artillery. But guys, check this out. Artillery is going to take the shot, and he missed, and uh, Chusinkus is not going to kill the Arty. He is trying to damage much more dangerous target at the moment. So he puts that uh, Black Bulldog down to being one shot. Well played. In my opinion, well played. Because Artillery, yes, Artillery would be dead already, but Artillery is reloading. Let's say this Arty has twice as long reload time as we have. Arty missed, so that means Chusinkus has time to take two shots before artillery is going to be reloaded once again. So it was a really good chance to deal some damage to that bulldog, because we cannot let this bulldog live at the moment. Whenever that bulldog gets behind us, uh, bulldog is really, really nasty flanker actually. Really nasty flanker. And he's coming for us, and goodbye. Auto aim kill, got him. Good job, and all that. And artillery? Nope, I'm not going for him. I think this guy is still reloading or something. Maybe, I don't know why he didn't come for us. I don't know why. It was pretty much the best chance. Most likely, he is reloading. Anyways, he got away and yet another tank spotted. SU-152. Most likely using turp gun, and yes, he was able to damage us, and he killed our driver. Sadly, Chosen Kuss didn't get that lucky high roll he needed to kill that SU with one shot. So sadly, that SU lives, but once again this artillery was a little bit too scared to come in to take the killing shot. Because at the moment, he literally had the best chance to take the killing shot. I don't know. I don't know what is going on. Maybe he was still reloading. <laughs> uh, crazy game, crazy game. 9,681 damage done so far. It was 3 versus 9, and after 6 skills, it is 1 versus 3. Crazy. Someone is uh, capturing our base. It uh, might be SU-152. Maybe artillery, maybe Lorraine. We haven't seen Lorraine in action. So it might be that SU. Anyways, let's see. Let's see what is going to be happening. Soon we are going to be over there. Or are we? Because artillery is going to be behind us. This is yet another Lorraine. Come on. Turn bits, turn bits, turn bits, turn bits. Now lock on and boom. Kill and oh my fucking god. He was able to destroy Choosing Kiss as well. Eye for an eye and this game is over. What a sad, sad ending for such an epic and amazing and crazy battle. The title of the email was, is it possible to do more alone? And I don't know, I think not. When it was 3 vs 9, it was actually 1 vs 9. And it ended up being 0 to 2 loss. It was 1 vs 9 because uh, GW Panther died right away. And Oni, well this guy was simply legendary dude, you deserve a medal. Definitely you deserve a medal, some special medal action over here. Uh, but um, from 1 versus 9 to 0 to 2 loss, ah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Ace tanker, eye for an eye, boots medal, high caliber and drop gun. 
over, 10,000 damage done, 10 kills and 1,836 raw experience in this kind of matchmaking. Being top tier vehicle when we only had like how many three top tier vehicles? Yeah, pretty impressive. No premium shots used whatsoever. 76,000 credit profit, uh, some damage blocked and uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Just Juzinkus, you are a legend, you tried, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care, stay awesome, and bye. Fucking wrong button!